So in this video, we will be discussing about a short introduction to regular expressions, regular grammars and regular languages. So come, let's begin with some examples of regular expressions. Now let's consider this definition of regular grammars. What are regular grammars? The grammars that generate a language. The grammars that generate a language such that the strings in that language are accepted by a finite automata. We learnt in the Chomsky classification also that all the regular type 3 grammars are called regular grammars and those are represented by a finite automata. So the grammars that generate a language that such that all the strings in a language are accepted by finite automata or finite state machine are called regular grammars. Note this point, when these strings are represented in algebraic manner, that means two or more strings if are added, subtracted, multiplied with each other, any algebraic operation is applied on the strings, then the expression that is formed is called a regular expression. Suppose we have strings A, A, B, A and a string is A, B, A. Suppose we have applied a algebraic plus on both the string then this is a regular expression this is the example of regular expression the combination of strings such that there is a algebraic operation between two or more strings is called a regular expression but the point is this string should be in a language that is generated by a regular grammar note these two points in your notebook now here are some important points about a regular expression suppose we are considering for example sigma is some alphabet that means it contains some terminals or symbols in it then any terminal symbol in alphabet sigma will be a regular expression these are the properties of regular expression suppose our sigma is containing a and b then the first point states any terminal symbol in sigma a is a terminal symbol b is a terminal symbol so a and b both are regular expression second is empty string empty string is represented by null and phi phi means empty set of strings there is a difference between empty string and empty set of strings empty string is it does not contain either a or b it is just a null but phi is phi does not contain even the empty strings it is a set which is fully empty it does not contain even the empty string that is null it is fully empty set is also a regular expression union of two regular expressions suppose r1 is one regular expression and r2 is other then union is represented by r1 plus r2 which will also be a regular expression concatenation of two regular expressions suppose r1 and r2 are two regular expression then concatenation is r1 r2 concatenation means joining of two regular expression r1 r2 will also be a regular expression closure of regular expression closure is represented by r closure it will also be a regular expression any combination of symbols symbols are a and b in sigma any combination of these symbols that follow this 1 to 5 rules will also be regular expression so note these six properties of regular expression in your notebook i hope they are clear to you consider this example we have to represent this set using a regular expression now see this set this set contains two strings 0 1 and 1 0 0 1 and 1 0 this 0 1 string is from the alphabet set 0 comma 1 and this 1 0 is also from the alphabet set 0 comma 1 so we can say that it is a combination of terminals from the alphabet set it is also a combination of terminals from alphabet set and in the characteristics of regular expression we studied that any valid combination of the terminals from the alphabet set will be a regular expression that means this is one regular expression r1 and this is another regular expression r2 so 0 1 and 1 0 is nothing but a union of both this set is a union of r1 and r2 how we represent union r1 plus r2 we recently studied in the characteristics union of two regular expression r1 and r2 is represented by r1 plus r2 and what is r1 0 1 
and what is r to 1 0 so this is our required regular expression 0 1 plus 1 0 now let's see one more example now again we are given a set of strings and we have to represent using a regular expression so one string is a a b it also contains terminals from the set a comma b b b a a it also contains terminals from set a comma b b a b it also contains terminals from set a comma b b b b it also contains terminals from the set a comma b out of which only b is used so all the strings are from the See, same alphabet set a b a b a b and a b so we can say it is one regular expression because the characteristic of regular expression says that any combination of terminals from an alphabet set will be a regular expression so this is one regular expression this is another this is r3 r4 so all of them are regular expressions now this set is nothing but a union of all these four regular expressions and how the regular expressions are represented in a union form r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 we studied in the characteristic union of two regular expression is r1 plus r2 so here are four so union will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 what is r1 aab plus r2 is bbaa plus r3 is bab and R4 is B, B, B. So, this will be our required regular expression. Now, let's see one more example. Now, this is a set given to us. We have to build the regular expression for this set. So, from the characteristics or rules of regular expression, we know that null is also a regular expression. We wrote the six characteristics in that characteristics i told you that null is also a regular expression so label it as r1 the first regular expression and 0 1 0 1 is a combination of terminals from the alphabet set 0 comma 1 so this is also a regular expression any combination of terminals from sigma is also a regular expression label it as r2 and what is this set it is union of this and this that is it is a union of two regular expressions r1 and r2 union is represented by r1 plus r2 which will also be a regular expression so null plus 0 1 will be our required regular expression i hope this is clear to you let's see one more example now this is the set given to us we have null string a string with one zero a string with two zeros a string with three zeros and a string with four zeros so what is this this set is nothing but zero closure why because what will be zero closure zero closure will be a null string when no zero is present when one zero is present when two zeros is present when three and when four up to infinity so this is nothing but a zero closure so we can represent it as r closure or zero closure is one and the same thing which is a regular expression so this is our required regular expression now consider this set it is a set consisting of elements 1 1 1 triple 1 quadruple 1 so what is it it is a set of all ones combination of ones only such that there is no null string you can call it as one positive closure now in the characteristics of regular expression we had a property that r closure is a regular expression so this is one plus how can we write this one plus that is the positive closure in terms of closure we can write it as one into one closure why what is one closure one closure is null one 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 and so on this is our one closure when we multiply one with null one with null we will get one when we uh, concatenate one with one we will get one 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 with two ones concatenation we will get three ones concatenation means joining suppose you have a string a b null a then you write it as a b a 
you skip this null you just concatenate this with this therefore one concatenated with null will give one one concatenated with one will give two ones one concatenated with two ones will give three ones and one concatenated with three ones will give us four ones and similarly the sequence goes on so one multiplied with or concatenated with this is concatenation one concatenated with one closure gives us positive closure which is this set so this is our required regular expression one concatenated with one closure i hope that is clear to you so the example is we have to derive the regular expression for this set the set is set of all string of zeros and ones ending with zero zero so one thing you can derive from this statement is that the string is a combination of 0 and 1 only. There is no other symbol than 0 or 1. So the alphabet set is sigma which will contain 0 and 1 and any string can be derived from this combination of 0 and 1. But one restriction the our statement is applying is it is saying that string should end with 0 0 always. So that means at the end of the string 0 0 is fixed. It will come always. But in the starting of the string anything can come that is a combination of 0 and 1 you can put any substitution here with 0 or 1 combination but the string should end with 0 or 0 so how will you represent any combination of 0 and 1 it is very simple 0 or 1 closure and in the case of regular expressions how you represent the closure of two regular expression suppose 0 is one regular expression and 1 is other regular expression that you concatenate them and do their closure this is the closure of 0 or 1 plus means or you already know dot means and and plus means or so it is 0 or 1 closure and the string should end with 0 0 here we apply the restriction the starting substitution of the string can be anything of 0 and 1 combination and then it will end with 0 0 so this is our required regular expression i hope this example is clear to you so now the example is set of all strings of zeros and ones ending with one one in our previous example it was set of all strings of zeros and ones ending with zero zero now it is ending with one one so we will fix one one at the end and in the starting we write zero or one closure anything can come in starting that is a combination of zero and one but the string should end with 1 1 this is our required regular expression now the example is set of all strings of zeros and ones such that the string begins with 1 and ends with 1 0 it is specifying two restrictions that the string always begins with 1 and ends with 1 0 so we fix 1 in the starting and 1 0 at the end and in between it can take 0 or 1 closure this is our required regular expression i hope these types of examples are now clear to you now consider these examples the first set is null comma zero zero comma four times zero comma six times zero and so on so you can see that if you carefully observe this this do not confuse it with zero closure this is not zero closure why because in zero closure the strings will be of the form null 0 0 0 0 0 0 that means any combination of zeros is allowed but here see that zeros is coming in even number 2 zeros 4 zeros 6 zeros 8 zeros and so on so how will you define this set it is 0 0 closure 0 0 closure in this set what will come one will be our empty string null string and other will be a minimum of two zeros and then four zeros and then six zeros eight zeros and so on so the regular expression will be zero zero closure here a a four times a six times a eight times a ten times a and so on so how will you define this if you write it as a closure then a closure will contain null a a a a a a but this is of not the type it is not containing null first point second point a is coming in even numbers only but here 
null is also there and a can come in even or odd numbers both are possible so this is not correct a closure is not correct how can you define you can define this as a a positive closure now a a positive closure will not contain null positive closure does not contain null and also it will derive a minimum of two a's then four a's six a's eight a's and so on now in the case of regular expressions i told you while defining the characteristics of regular expression that positive closure cannot be included the regular expression is of the form of full closure only star rows clean closure only so how to write a a positive closure in terms of clean closure a minimum of one a a is required and yet it is concatenated with a a full closure a a clean closure so what will this become a a concatenated with null a a a a a a and so on a a and concatenation of null will become a a this string a a with concatenation with these two a's will become a a a a and a a on concatenation with these four a's will become these six a's so this is how we represent a positive closure in case of regular expression so our regular expression that we are required is this one i hope it is clear to you it is same as the example we discussed about one positive closure we represented as one concatenated with one clean closure i hope it is clear to you now sixth is set of all strings beginning with bb and ending with bb so that means bb is fixed and bb is fixed at the end also this question is set of all strings of a and b so of a and b beginning with bb and ending with bb so bb and bb in starting and ending is fixed now in between it is written in string and contain a or b so a plus b closure any combination of a and b and can come in between but in start bb will be present and in end bb will be present this is the required regular expression i hope it is clear to you so i hope you have understood the definition of regular grammars regular expressions and all the examples that i have discussed for construction of a regular expression from a given set so if you liked our video please hit the like button and please share it with your friends if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please hit the subscribe button also and for the previous upload and full playlist of theory of automata and computation you can find the links on the screen thank you